Hey guys, my name is Alona. I'm an artist. I work in the game industry about 15 years already. So uh, here my YouTube channel where I, know, where I just want to share some of my experience with you and maybe some of you will find it interesting. Uh, I will be extremely happy if uh, you will like it. So I just wanted to say that I was really enjoying to make the whole making process of this video and uh, uh, this is my first English speaking uh, voiceover. I was trying to do my best so uh, please enjoy my video and subscribe to, so, to my YouTube channel. Here I will be sharing really my experience. I will be giving you some art tips and uh, do some speed paintings so we will have fun together. <laughs> so also if you want to see more of my drawings you can visit my art station, you can uh, subscribe on my Instagram, uh, also you can join my Patreon page. So uh, basically that's all what I wanted to say, I just want to introduce myself, so let's go and watch this video. Hey guys, today we'll show you the process of sketch of this little cute puffy. Uh, so this is a reference photo which I choose to I screen it somewhere on TikTok so I cannot really say who the author of the original photo so I'm sorry from the beginning. So first I choose a base color for the entire composition. As you know from the color wheel uh, the green and uh, orange are kind of opposite. So we have we have this uh, warm green grass color on the photo as a base color. Vibrant orange will help this green stand out more. The composition of painting is extremely simple, so it's just basically one round form in the middle of the of the drawing. So <laughs> I decided to aim for a vibrant color to make this drawing interesting. So that's why I chose this uh, super super vibrant base. Uh, why do you need base at all? If you want, uh, I can I can just do another video to explain all this. When I did the sketch, as you can see, I started to fill the ground with a large texture brush. If I do these small warm-ups, I use basically only this texture brush, you can use any texture, you can use any brush, actually it's not that important. I just like to have a feeling like, like I draw on paper with some paintings, with some paints, so it's just for my taste. So I also use a lasso tool to select the main shape and fill it with color. Basically it's what I do here all the way, I just uh, use lasso to define the shape and just fill it with color. So that's pretty much all what I do. <laughs> so, uh, for the body, I initially chose a warmer color than a, in the original photo because in the original photo it's more like a cold gray and I decided to do it more like uh, warm to go it better with uh, other colors. The next stage is the eyes, uh, there is a main center of the composition here, so you must see him from the, from the uh, distance. That's why I chose bright, uh, this bright warm uh, blue color for the highlight, I believe it's, it's named turquoise. This will give just a bright visible accent and goes well with the other colors of the water and also this uh, blue color is reminds you that above above your head you have a bright blue sky so basically it's reflection of the sky and this color as you can see i can use a uh, reflection reflection of the water reflections of the all wet parts of the head so uh, it will just give you impression that you have a uh, blue sky above, above you, above your head. The next stage I um, work out the glare on the water with large forms using the lasso tool again, so you can see it. Uh, I just create uh, 
freeform shape and fill it with color. Then I begin to refine the details of the drawing, uh, cold, glare, cold glare on the muzzle from above again, which I was told you, and warm uh, like a reflection from the water, because you have not only reflection from the sky, you have reflection of the water, and in the wet object, uh, glass-like, so you see reflections all the way. And uh, basically, if you do the reflection, even on the more made object, it just gives your painting a more alive look. So. Uh, also, I did a little bit more texture. Uh, on a body underwater, so it will not get lost in the waves. Uh, I use a color dodge blend mode uh, for emphasize the highlights on the all, all of picture. Sometimes I go back to the tiles, trying to maintain the balance, not to do it over the tile, not to do it too empty. So you you just need to maintain a balance between details and uh, empty space. Uh, when I need to soften some shapes, I just use mixer brush tool, so it goes perfectly. And the stage, uh, in the stage I think the sketch is almost finished, uh, so I add some post-processing, I add some minor details with very small brush. I basically, for post processing, I imagine all the layers to the one and apply uh, all process uh, to only one layer. So, basically, what am I doing here? It's adding some blur for the uh, duplicate layer, and then I just uh, use eraser to show some details which I need and reduce some details which I, which I don't need. I also play with channels that really help to add some interesting color spots which you will not think of uh, when you're drawing. I just like to do this. Uh, sometimes I like to do this uh, in the middle of the process. If i drawing only on one layer, I just basically do it sometimes. It's uh, very interesting. I, I strongly recommend you and uh, again, I, can, I think I can just do another video about it if you want. So basically that's all. The sketch is ready. Uh, I spent exactly 30 minutes uh, since I've, I started work. So what do you think of it? Uh, I will be grateful for any feedback. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching uh, and bye.